Okay, question 28. We're almost there. Use the triangles below to answer the following questions. Um, and we need to enter degree this time if we're finding an angle measure. So we're given two triangles. Um, we have some angles. We can see that one is the same. So we're trying to find the length from Y to Z. So right here. So I can see from this triangle, I do have some sides that should go together, right? I have X to Y, 9.8 and 4. And then I'm going to call this one X. And so we need to figure out what side that aligns with, and I'm going to follow the angle. So see how 58.8 goes this way? We don't want that side. We want the one across from it. So six is the one that actually goes with X. And we got to make sure we go in the right order. So we're going to put X on the top. I'm just going to take 9.8 divided by four. I get 2.45. And I'm doing that because X is on my numerator. So now to solve, I'm just going to multiply by 6. I don't have to cross multiply. So 2.45 times 6 is 14.7. Okay, measure of Y and measure of Z. So remember we said the angle across was the one that went with 6. That means this is 86.4 degree, and then they all add up to 180. So I'm going to take 180 minus 58.8 minus 86.4, which is 34.8 degrees. Okay. 14.7, I have to go back and forth, 86.4, and I'm going to put DEG, because it's a degree, and then 34.8, again, I'm going to put DEG. 